So in this video, I'm going to show you how to change the color of um, light flare and some other things. Yeah, as you can see, the background is already down so that you can see the effect well. So to do this, you have to just click and then go to the panel options and look for this option here. Click on it and then locate the hue and saturation. Once you've got it, just click on that. And now you have to pay close attention. So this is where you basically change it to any color that you desire just by playing around with these levels here. All right, as you can see, the colors are already changing. But then again, you, you want to be sure, you want to make sure that you pin it on the right layer. So you just have to click on this. What this means is that you are pinning this effect on the PNG here, which is a light flare. I repeat, you are basically pinning this effect to this one under. All right, so if I click on it, you can see it's already been pinned down to the layer below. Alternatively, you can still do that by holding Alt and then wait for that arrow sign to appear. Once that's appeared, you right click, then you've done that already. So we're going to just stick to this part by clicking on it. So all this means that the effect is only going to be applicable to the light player itself and nothing else. Alright, so from here you can basically change the color, play around and get the color of your choice. Yeah, so let me assume that I want to make it or something like light blue. So I've gotten blue. So here I can basically you play around with saturation. I can increase it. I can make the lightness higher or darker. Alright. So if you pull the lightness too much, it's just basically basically going to be white. So that is just it on how to change the color. So we can see use this to change color of any other thing aside from the light player. I'm going to show you how. So now I'm still going to repeat the same thing on this stamp here. So once again, click on it, go down to the option panel, and then locate the hue and saturation. Click on the hue and saturation and pin. All right, pin. Then change the color to any color to desire. So I think I'll just leave it here. And then play around with saturation once more to just get that hue that we are looking for. We play the light, we play around with lightness, and we are good to go. So for the next one, now basically going to use it on a model and change the color, close color of any model. All right. So finally, we're going to use the same method to change the color of this model here. You really know what to do. First, thing, go to the option panel and then look for the hue and saturation. And again, pin it and play around the hue and get what you're looking for. So I'm going to leave it like this. But as you can notice, it's also affecting the scale, which we don't want. For that reason, all you have to do is to hold on Control and I. And right, you're basically going to invert. Now you're going to switch to your brush tool. Once you switch, you're basically going to be painting on the area that you want the color to be applied on. Alright, so that's what you're going to do. So you're going to paint it over the area that you want. So I'm going to pause the video and show you the final result. So as you can see, we are done with the whole thing. You can use this method to change color of anything at all. Alright, so if you are specific with the areas that you want to apply the colors on, then make use of this method. So just in case you have uh, been wondering how the people normally change color, you've already seen it. So this is just how it's done on Photoshop. So make sure you like this video, subscribe if you haven't, and also drop comments if you, if you really find it helpful. Share the video as well. See you on the next one.